Hello, Leo. It's my lady from My Lady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading from May 22nd through May 29th, 2017. Uh, the cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish, and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out to book to ensure you get your full message. I want to make sure you guys check your sun, moon, and rising signs if this doesn't resonate. I want to thank everybody for subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. And for you who have set up readings for Wednesday, I do apologize. We're going to have to change that for another day. Um, if you look in, well, just email me and we can talk about the situation. But I do have it on my wall, what I'm going to do for you guys. Um, and that's all I have for the introduction, Leo. So let's get this, let's get this party started. All right, what do we have for Leo? trying to hide huh all right Leo. all right so something has just become a burden for you leo what has become a burden for leo may 22nd through may 29th 2017 mm. oh so you've been lifting somebody up up helping them trying to get their life together but now it's starting to hurt you, Leo. Or vice versa. Some somebody's been lifting you up. And it's starting to leave holes in their pockets. Alright, Leo. May 22nd through May 29th, Leo, May 22nd through May 29th, 2017. Okay. <laughs> So you helping this person get ahead or they're helping you get ahead, but you guys aren't having any <clears throat> grown up time. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Oh, sorry. So, um, maybe someone is pregnant or started a new beginning. Let's see what this is about. What is this? What is it? Okay. Okay, somebody's pregnant. I mean, I I, I hate saying this because it's crazy because it's in every single, well, a lot of my readings, but uh, somebody's always pregnant. And in this case, I don't know. I just heard you eat too much or maybe they eat too much. But uh, somebody's trying to help somebody find a job. You guys are looking for places to live so I can see where this comes in now, you know. You know, you, you got a baby on the way, you know. You're already trying to help your partner get up and you guys aren't having any sex. This could be very burdensome, you know. And then you got a baby coming. All right, what else do we have for Leo? May 29th through... No, May 22nd through May 29th, 2000. 17. Alright, this one wants to come out. Okay, so one of you guys is always gone. Okay, let's get more clear. Let's get some clarity for that. Gone where? For what? What's going on? What is this tide? Right. Time and tide. So. Mm. Okay, I guess both of these coming out. Okay, so I'm feeling like, all right, let's see. I don't want to flip the bottom of the deck yet. So there's a burden because somebody's trying to help them, their partner get their life together, but they're not having sex because possibly because they're pregnant and they're also trying to get their life together. But this time in and time out card, somebody's getting sick of their partner leaving all the time. And then when they come back, they violate in their boundaries. It's like, I feel like 
somebody feels like there's they always they can't do nothing right. They're trying and trying and trying, but they just can't do nothing right. So they're thinking about leaving. Like they always getting a oh, oh, this space is always being violated. They're always doing something wrong. They're trying their hardest to do the best that they can do, but it's not good enough. They starting to feel like this. It's like a drill sergeant coming to a different squad and trying to tell you what to do and then they leave and then they come back, leave, come back. You know, that's what I feel like this situation is. It's like you guys are trying to build a life together. Somebody's working hard and the other one just, I mean, both of you guys are working hard. So whatever this is, it's not looking good for the future. So I'm thinking... Maybe you got something to do with this violation of space, which is the only thing that's wrong here. You know, you got to go make money because you're trying to support everybody. You're trying to support a kid. You got to go make money. I mean, you ain't having no sex. You're going to be irritated. You know, I don't know. All the grownups on here know what I would say, do. If you don't know, message me. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm done with these. It's Cleo time. Wow. Okay, so somebody is holding on to some old baggage. Maybe that's why they violating space. It's like, um, get rid of this. Throw this away. You know, why are you still keeping this? You know, y'all trying to put a life together and this person just won't get away from it. Keep bringing stuff home. That's what this feel like to me. Now, you just, every time you leave, you bring something stupid home. So, okay. I told you I'll read these guys straight off the book to make sure you get your full message. All right, come on, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Leo, May 22nd through May 29th, 2017. What do we have for Leo? May 22nd through May 29th, 2017. All right, Leo. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I read these straight off the book. Yikes. To ensure you get your... I was hiding from that thing to ensure you get your full message. All right, this is that distance card. Okay, so first we have the three swords for you. All right, so a heartbreak, whether in a relationship or in life, at the end of an affair, a bitter heartbreak, take care of emotional problems. I feel like this is from that baggage. That's a part of that baggage that's getting on somebody's nerve. All right, so we got the tower card. Tower, 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 tower. All right, the towers reverse it. Evilness and strong force. So basically somebody on the outside on some other stuff trying to shake some stuff up. That's what I feel like here. Uh, this was a past event, yeah. So somebody was trying to shake up what y'all had going on. Then you have the death card. So the death card says, A dramatic change, the end of a curtain situation and death. The life begins again, the beginning of a new situation. So, I just feel like... I don't know. I think maybe the baby is getting ready to be born and is starting to change y'all minds. And that's why y'all frustrated too because y'all got to get rid of y'all new life it might be y'all first kid maybe second and, and things are really starting to change all right maybe third all right so let's read the six of swords for you guys six of swords six of swords says uh you have traveled or may travel soon uh you may be separated by distance by loved ones may also indicate moving into a positive time in your life. So, of course, yeah, once you guys get settled in, the baby stress float away, you get your house or whatever you guys trying to get, everything will be fine. All right, so then we got the seven of coins. Seven of coins says, uh, continue to work on your project. Remember that money can bring you great joy and great sor sorrow. Uh, the importance of money is freedom. Do not let the money imprison you. So basically, you need to tell this to your partner, you, but you guys need to start making time for each other so y'all can get rid of all this 
stress that's making y'all feel like y'all want to leave. You know, it's vacation time. So, um, that's all I have for you, Leo. Hopefully, you got the message you're here to receive. Um, if you want to schedule a personal reading other than Wednesday, email me in the description box below and we can get something together. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.